Yo, what is up you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, text go behind an object, any object, in any photo in Adobe Photoshop. I got Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 and I'm loving it. I hope you guys are loving Photoshop too. Uh, I'm gonna, this is going to be the end result in a way. Uh, everyone's going to have a different image and different text, but uh, let's start from scratch. So what you're going to want to do here is uh, import your image. Just go file open, open that bad boy up. Once you got it open, uh, I'm going to click T for my type tool. If you guys don't know if the shortcut key, it's T and it's right here on your, uh, your toolbar. And I'm just going to click here and I'm going to type in beautiful because this is a beautiful image. I wish I was actually at the beach right now, but I'm not here. Uh, so I'm, once you have your text, you're going to want to place it where you desire. And I'm going to place my text right here. And what you're going to want to do is select your image layer and you're going to want to copy, duplicate it. You could hit Command J or you could drag and drop into that new layer. Now I have layer zero copy and place this layer on top of your text so now you shouldn't be able to see your text and then click L or go to your lasso tool you can use your polygonal lasso tool or the quick selection tool whatever you desire maybe I'd recommend uh, the quick selection tool because it is easier to get a more refined selection I guess you could say but I'm gonna help you guys get around that if you are having issues uh, getting like a perfect selection. So I'm going to speed this up and catch you when I finish selecting this. Okay, so now that's done. And uh, also, when you're doing this, make sure you have Add to Selection selected. I apologize, I always forget, but uh, make sure this is selected. Um, I will probably add a notate, notation or caption so you guys don't forget. Anyways, all right, now that you have your selection, say uh, it's not quite perfect and you want to get uh, right on the edges with your, uh, I call these the, the walking ants, with your selection. So I'm gonna go to Select, Up Top, and Photoshop and modify and contract you can actually expand the pixels which will actually add um, to your I guess you could say it'll increase the radius of your selection all around and I'm gonna click contract because I do want this to shrink I'm gonna go I'll probably go like 18 pixels because I want you guys to see the difference here and uh, so I'm gonna click OK and notice it moved uh, it moved noticeably uh, since I zoomed into the image and now that you have that done um, I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna hit Command uh, Zero to so I can see the whole image. There's my crawling ants, as you could say. And now you're gonna want to click on the Add Layer Mask down here. And I'm gonna click Command Z to undo because there's also another way to do this. You go to Layer and Layer Mask Reveal Selection, and that's another way to do it. And as you can see, it says beautiful. So I want to adjust that. I'm going to click on my text layer and I'm going to click V for my move tool and you can move it around and as you can see the selection is refined and it says beautiful. So folks there you have it. That is how to add text behind an object in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, if this video helped you please like, comment, and subscribe and also add an additional comment for uh, any videos you'd like me to make for you guys. So uh, that being said I'll see ya.